This weekend, I'm showing you a place that's known for being exclusive and expensive. But with a few tips, I'll show you how to make this paradise possible. I am the weekend golfer, and this is Bermuda. The first thing you gotta know about Bermuda is this whole rental car thing. As in, they don't have any. As you come out of the airport, you better have 50 bucks ready to pay for a taxi to get you to the hotel. Tourists are expected to get around the island by taxi, ferry, bus, or learning to ride a moped real fast. But don't fear, I found a solution. This is the Twizy. It's a two-person enclosed electric vehicle that will save you both time and money and squash all the safety concerns that you have about riding a moped. So sure, these are a bit safer and more economical, but the main reason you want to rent one is they're just fun. As soon as you get settled, head over to the Swizzle Inn for their famous rum swizzle. It's uh, black and gold rum, triple set for lernium, orange juice, pineapple juice, and uh, lemon juice. Nice. And some Angostura bitters. This is also where I met up with Chris, my host for the weekend. He and his wife, Lana, own a hybrid guest house in the Warwick area. It's a perfect location for golfers or families looking to cut down on some costs without sacrificing comfort or luxury. Plus, it's a truly authentic way to stay on the island. When, when Chris first suggested, you know, playing a par three course, I thought, come on, Chris, really? I'm gonna play a par three course. I'm gonna come all the way to Bermuda and play a par three course. And then we got out there and it's unlike any par three I've ever played. I fully expected to go out there and use like seven iron wedge at, at max. And I used every single club in my bag. I used five iron, I used a hybrid at one point. There's a hole out there that's 220 yards. There were some holes that were extreme uphill, some holes that were extreme downhill. And it's 18 holes. It's not like you're circling around doing a, a back nine that you've already played once. This is 18 holes and they all look at the ocean. Don't let the words par three deter you from playing this course. It hosts the Grey Goose World Par Three Championship. It's a fun change up. Just to win the open. Oh, it's in. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Now obviously you've come to Bermuda for a reason. They have the world's best beaches. Horseshoe Bay offers a beach with a bar, restrooms, and easy taxi pickup and drop off. But for me, I like going where the locals go, which means checking out Elbow Beach and Jobson's Cove. Frankly, as long as the day ends dark and stormy, I'll be fine. So with the second round, there's only one course that you gotta play, and that's Port Royal. This golf course feels like somebody took something out of Scotland, picked it up, and just dropped it down here. I thought you said this has a, a decent view. Yeah, it's terrible. It seems this year that par threes have been stealing the show. Well, here is no exception. This is the breathtaking 16th hole that can stretch up to a daunting 230 yards. But even at 180 yards where we played from, the green looks like it's holding onto the cliff for dear life. How outrageous is this hole? It's dangerous to walk on this hole, let alone play it. Plus, as you can see, wind is a factor. With a course that has roots in Scotland, mixed with a laid back Caribbean vibe, I know that if you played this course, it would instantly become one of your favorites. The third course I'm gonna send you to isn't a course at all. It's called Fun Golf. And it's pretty much the greatest mini putt you'll ever play. If you talk about mini golf, I mean, this is miniature golf, replicas of the real thing. There's the 17th at Sawgrass. There's British style bunkers that you can't get out of. On the first hole, you're putting over water, literally over water. If you can't have a fun round of golf at a place that's called Fun Golf, there's something wrong with you. Bermuda ticks all the boxes for what makes a great golf vacation. And hopefully this shows you how it can be done without breaking the bank. For more trip ideas, keep watching me on Score Golf and follow me at The Weekend Golfer.